Okay, today we're going to talk about material templates and how that relates to a job. Um, there's about five different areas to worry about, so we'll start with uh, under the libraries tab here. You want to run to, you want to start with materials. So this is where you set up the materials you're using. So we open that one. So this is where you can set different materials for different jobs, whatever you need. So I've already set up some uniboard colors here. You can select a texture. This will apply the texture to the uh, to the actual cabinet. So if you select, say, you know, pre-finished birch, and you select a birch color, it will apply that to that cabinet. Um, you can also override this in the textures um, right in the settings or anywhere in the in the whole software. Actually, there's a bunch of different spots you can change it. All right, so change the color. This is where you get the name, you name it out there. This is the stock material size. So uh, our sheet's coming at 49 by 97. Material thickness is that. You can also flip it to millimeters if you want to just do like, you know, 16 millimeter or whatever. Uh, this is the cost. We just set it at $100 a sheet. Markup, say if you want to put the cost in perfectly and then your markup, you can have it at like 30% and then it will uh, it will dump the markup on that and in the pricing. Uh, you can also have an add-on, so say you have something specific, like I don't know, uh, um, cone core or something like that, where you have to like face the edge of it to make it proper. You can add an add-on price here. The percentage of waste, so you know, on a nesting machine, you're probably at five, ten percent or something like that. Uh, has grain, so this will orient it in a certain way if it has grain. Uh, if it's two-sided that will give you an option to make it like single-sided white and the other side is hard rock so then you got to change the colors of that wouldn't really use that too much but uh, that's there as an option uh, width trim and length trim this is when where you set if you're nesting it on your CNC this is how much it will trim off when you run it to the optimizer so it will trim off a quarter off the edges before it starts cutting the parts out uh, this is where you select if this part is gonna go to the nest nesting uh, machine so i mean certain things like glass and stuff like that wouldn't run to the nesting machine so you would check that box off uh, the percentage of speed again this is related to the speed of the tool cutter so if you have a material that's specifically you know tricky to cut that you want to reduce the speed by 50 percent or something you can reduce it here and it will dump over to the optimizer uh, comment um, uh, that you can just add a little comment if you need to uh, do something there there's also Mosaic throughout has these handy little question mark boxes. So if you just hit the question mark box, it'll open up your uh, uh, your viewer for PDFs and it has all the explanation here. So that's all really helpful too when you're working in this system. All right, so you set up your materials and then now you need to apply them to certain parts in the cabinet. Now you're gonna go to material templates. This is the second stage. So you have five different areas where you're applying different materials. The banding all is also in the material temp materials here too. So I should show you that. So there's board stock. So as if you're cutting wood, there's edge banding. So half mil PVC, half mil maple, custom color PVC, and so on, veneer. And then there's countertops. We don't really deal with this part much, but I mean, it's there if you need it. Uh, material templates again so you have door materials so this is where say you want to make your own uh, let's say material test for doors so I'm just gonna copy that okay so now I want the doors and again you can select this here if you you get confused You know it will show you what what's going on here what I'm explaining to you so you you can set your door face sometimes that's an order door so that will be set up somewhere else but if it's a CNC cut door this is the material will come out as uh, door panel there's a frame so that would be more than likely it would be a you know a solid wood material so all that material all those materials including the edge banding, which may not be helpful here, but it all shows up here, but the board stock. So say you need, you know, maple 
milled three quarter lumber for the door frame. That will export as that. Uh, drawer, this is drawer face, so you know, same material. Let's just assume we're going to do slab. And then you don't have to worry about the frame anyway. So 19 mil wood grain, and then you have panelized end. That's if you have an applied panel. The applied doors, if you set as applied door, it will come out as this material right here. Then you have drawer parts. Yeah, save changes. So then you have drawer parts. This is where you would apply different materials to different to your drawer boxes. So your drawer side, drawer front. Cabinet parts, the same thing. You just go through the materials, the top, the bottom, the finished end, the unfinished end, and applied unfinished end. So to me, it's all the same material. Um, we've set it up as 16 millimeter painted with a matching interior, or 16 millimeter painted with a wood grain interior, 16 millimeter painted with a white interior, or then there's 19 millimeter painted with a white interior. That's sort of how we set it up. It's a little bit easier for us. Uh, so we go down, you have all these different materials to set. That's how it'll pick it up. So you set up a template. You've now set up a material. You've now set up a template. And you can also set for wall cabinets and base cabinets separate. So say you have an upper that's got different material than the base, which for us is not the case. You can change it so it'll jump to the wall cabinets. Countertops, again, we don't use this one, but it's the same idea. We'll just, you know, update that material for this. Banding, here you go. You got your edge banding template. Uh, and this here, uh, this will set the thickness of the edge banding. So if you don't have a pr an edge bander with the pre-mill, the CNC will take off that much extra on, like, this thickness extra on the edges where it's you're set, you've set your edging. Same thing for the wall cabinets. Uh, and then it'll give you, you can select a symbol for the labels. If you print the labels out, you can uh, select the symbol right here. Okay, so that's the second spot. Third spot, now this is where we're opening a new job. So let's just file new job, you know, test materials. All right, you can select all this stuff and then here, this is the menu we're talking about. So you can see here, we've selected sample MDF as our color. That's why this is all different here. So we select materials here. If I want it to be, this is all those templates you just set up in that menu. So all these templates here, you have the door template. So let's, Where's that one I just, material test for doors. Okay, then you have your drawer box material. We have it set up maple. Let's just change it to white. You know, your cabinet material, painted white interior. As you can see that updated the material there. And then your edge banding template. So sometimes we have one millimeter doors with half a millimeter case. So that's common for us. Now, if you want to change the texture of the exterior of the cabinets, right now it's picking up this here. So we're going to go like this. And a quick way to do this is to uh, not this way. So you can drop this menu down and search it that way. But if you open up this menu, and then you select a color, say so you select that one, and then you highlight the file name here and you press Control C, which is copy, and you hit enter. Then you can quickly, Control V is paste, so you just quickly open that box and you press Control V and then enter. Same thing, click that one, Control V, enter. You can do it super fast and it will just auto, it will just update, it just takes a few seconds. So now you've changed your exterior color to that. And then we go to just add a quick room here and drop in a cabinet. As you can see, it's pulled up 
my settings from this menu. Then we can open up the cabinet and we can see our parts. We've got three quarter milled wood, which we aren't really going to use, but it shows you it pulls up that template. We have 19 millimeter wood grain for the door, which we set that in there. We have 19 millimeter MDF and 19 millimeter white for the interior parts. A nice thing you can do is open the perspective view, filled. You can see our edge banding is not the right color, but that's fine. Uh, you go to layers, high detail, and we're just going to click yes. Then you can explode the cabinet. So you hit this button and then drag this up. That will explode it into a bunch of pieces. And it will give you a chance to sort of vi visually inspect your parts to make sure they're coming out right. Which is a nice feature. You see you got your dados in there, hinge hinge plate holes, all that. And anything else for material templates? Yeah, that's pretty much it. This here, you can override the interior color. So you can go like this and you can change it to that one. And that'll override the interior color. The banding color is not set at all here. So you just select that, you can dump the material color there. And that's about it. So again, four, four places or five places. We got the materials where you set it up. You get the material templates where you pick the material you set up and you apply it to the part of the cabinet. And then you, you're in the job and you set it here. If you don't want to keep setting this, you can uh, go here and you can save it as a template once you get it all set up like we've done here. Then you, you just, you know, select a template instead of having to reset this up every time. So you just set it up once, you select your template here and whatnot. You dump it into the next one. And then you go here. If you need to manually override a cabinet's material, which is common, you open up the product editor and you go to info and then you have your material overrides here. So it's the same thing as the other menu. It's got all the same things. You want to override that to be a different material. I'll say that one. Then you click OK. And you can also do with multiple cabinets too. So if you have three cabinets here, but you need two of them to have a different material, this one and this one, I just held Control to select multiple. Right click. Override textures is one option. So you can override the color of it. Or, and this is override material templates. So this is overriding that same menu. You can override that and you can change it to that or you can change the drawer box to a certain material. And that's how you would do that. And that's how you do it.